Rob, Julie, the FBI and the Federal Trade Commission have been investigating the fake ransom scams for months now. But investigators say this scam is so realistic, people are still falling for it and losing money. Schemers study the folks who live in Saunders County. They list my family's name. They've been successful in pulling off an elaborate scam, preying on parents. You think your son or daughter are about to be killed. Jody Hedges almost fell for the so-called ransom scam when she answered a call from a 302 area code. There was a kid screaming on the phone that said, Mom, I really screwed up this time. The Saunders County Sheriff's Department received a slew of phone calls recently, all sharing the same story. Five victims filed reports. Two lost thousands of dollars. The threat of, you know, killing one of your family members um, you know, that's probably, they're doing that because it's probably very successful. Hedges says it sounded like her son screaming, so she followed the kidnapper's orders. On the phone for an hour, the scared mother drove from Wahoo to Lincoln to wire $1,000 to Rhode Island. They're demanding that you stay on the phone. Um, that's not going to allow you to get any outside assistance. Just kept thinking, I'm hoping he's okay, I'm hoping he's okay. Recognizing the scam, the MoneyGram operator stopped the transaction and Hedges called her son from another phone. I was like relieved. Even though she hung up, the scammer still threatened Hedges with text messages. I told you I know a lot about you. You want me to make you watch while I kill them? The best thing you do is hang up. Hedge's daughter received the same call that same weekend, and Sheriff Stuckenholz contacted the Attorney General's office, who is investigating if these calls are part of an organized crime circuit or if it's one person targeting the Saunders County area. Back to you, Rob.